Today I've made a guide for anyone taking part in the Street Fighter Supercard event wanting to get the most out of this crossover. Whether it's unlocking all the Street Fighters in tournament mode or you're looking to get all the rewards in car battle from Xavier Woods all the way to that limited edition Akuma, you are in the right place. We're going to be covering off how you get more tokens throughout the game, outside the game and how to win more in the tournament tournament mode not to mention the best ways of getting more and more points in car battles before we get into anything though just a reminder that if this video goes on to help you in any way shape or form i'd really appreciate it if you dropped a thumbs up the old like button on this video it really helps me out and it's free and in the comment section down below let me know what milestone you're on for car battle and if you include the secret word i've hidden in this video i'll give you a heart to showcase your epic efforts let's start with a couple of important points that fell outside of explaining the individual modes if you're going to be playing this free to play it's not going to be easy and will take you some time remember this mode was scheduled for 26 days total and there are numerous ways to obtain the tokens we'll come back to that later if you're going to blast through this with credit it's not going to be cheap and rushing into the mode without a plan will ultimately cost you more than it should and thirdly stay subscribed as i'll be posting any additional methods such as new qr codes draft patterns or easter eggs on the channel throughout the event and into SummerSlam rarity which is coming up really soon and as a bonus you also get killer 2k content and other supercard videos too that's out of the way that starts off with tournament mode taking part in that is your ticket to the base street fighter cards which as of now are not obtainable outside the mode they're also free of charge which is great Upon opening tournament mode, you'll be given a choice of three characters to face, each requiring a total of five wins to unlock. But there's more to tournament mode and the benefits of fighting or unlocking each character first. Obtaining your first victory against each character in tournament mode unlocks the character from their vacant slot in car battle giving you more than the base five plus points awarded for each car battle token that you use winning five times against each character for the first time unlocks an additional bonus for that fighter and gives you the character in your catalog to use playing car battle in any capacity before unlocking each street fighter risks you losing significant points up to plus 80 every time you play the mode simply put don't touch car battle i'm gonna repeat that a few times in this video don't touch car battle this is of course easier said than done as the characters you can select to face are refreshed every two hours and they're selected at random they can also change after matches that are played for example it took me about 50 matches to find a honda some of you may have better luck than me sneakily supercard have also structured the mode so that after each car battle token that's received from tournament wins you'll be immediately sent to the mode and encouraged to use it to smash but you must resist this and instead back out of car battle each time until you're ready repeat after me don't touch car battle or if you're a fan of the mcu oh stop just for once in your life don't smash after unlocking each street fighter the win icons will reset and you'll be able to unlock them again and again and again allowing you to build up your deck outside of the mode it's actually not that difficult to obtain free enigma pros from this and that's kind of wild considering the kind of ride we've been on with this tier already it's not known if the number of cards per fighter is restricted to stop people getting tens or twenties of the same card but if there is it's likely to be five times each allowing you to fortify three each cards that can be obtained if you're struggling to win the matches though i'd recommend holding on to these and not proing them using them to fill your tournament deck each fighter has a weakness that offers a 100 150 percent stat boost in about and we've actually got this list for you big thanks to my friend robski for helping us build this for you on video this list will help you stay ahead and avoid wasting any of those tournaments mode tokens 
But how do you get more tournament mode tokens? Well, first off, the draft board. They don't drop often, so it might be prudent to use super coins on draft picks to bump the numbers up a little bit. I've used around 15,000 myself, and you can get these from various game modes and rewards that use the draft board. Secondly, four hourly free packs. Two of these packs are available every four hours and offer a chance up to two tokens per pack. One is guaranteed, one is offered up as a bonus chance. Opening all 12 packs earns you between 12 to 24 tokens per day. It's not too shabby. Next up, the Supercard Web Store offers a free token every two days, which is something. Probably with the drop rate, it should be more really but anyway wesupercard.com enter your player id found at the bottom of your profile to send the token to your inbox moving away from free methods bunches of punches and some other packs offer the tokens as extra bonuses there are also packs in the mode store with up to 25 tokens available per purchase finally qr codes and free packs will likely appear from time to time during the event like this one that dropped when the mode was announced. You can scan this using the QR scanner in the game's options to unlock the rewards. And a reminder to get subscribed to ensure you don't miss a single code when they drop for Street Fighter or for any mode. That's all for tournament mode, but what about car battle? Well, car battle is pretty simple, but I stress again, do not play car battle, do not touch car battle until you've unlocked every street fighter character at least once if you haven't done that yet now is the time to stop go back and do it i'll, I'll wait <laughs> hey you're back nice timing now you're here the first thing to do is smash hey, yo. no really before using your token smashing the car over 100 times with your digits will eventually net you a free easter egg of 10 car battle tokens a nice little bonus goes a long way after this it is pretty much completely rng there's little rule or rhyme behind choosing the right fighter or getting the right bonus for your point it's kind of totally random there is one way of choosing which bonus you get something that's been noticed by quite a few people and i'm going to show you right now if i press stop it's going to put me on cami again this is completely random the damage multiplier screen what you want to aim for for example for the times 100 or times 20 for anyone who's not buying the power-ups it takes just over a full length of the entire meter to stop once you press the button. So if I was aiming for 100, I need to aim for just before times 50 when it's going upwards. Or if it was to the top and to the bottom as it goes up, I would stop dead on around about times 12 and it should come to a stop roughly about the bottom which will get you the best bonus possible so just to explain that again it takes roughly about one length of that entire meter for it to stop so as you'll see here if i want to get times 50 i'm going to try and get around about times 30 times 10 stop and it should land on 100 boom same goes for any position this is gonna massively help you get the bonuses you need especially when you get some really unfortunate choices when it comes to the fighter that you're given now you can alter how many points you get as i mentioned but that would require you to purchase the power-ups only available in the car battle store which means spending credits whilst these are one-off purchases unlike the doublers in tournament mode they aren't giving you a guaranteed boost. No, what they do is add an extra boost to that meter. If you're unfortunate enough to land on that part of the slider that doesn't give you the bonus, womp womp. Yeah, it's a bit lame if you ask me, but I much prefer this than having to constantly play for doublers. I'm not gonna lie. So let's fast forward a bit and you've used all your battle tokens. So how do you get more? These are a little bit different to tournament tokens. First, Play more tournaments. Every winning tournament gets you a car battle token. Find all the ways to obtain those tournament tokens and get to winning. Come on, enough said, really. Secondly, the Supercard website offers another free token every two days, which is something. Go to supercard.com, follow the instructions I mentioned earlier, yada, yada, yada. It goes without saying QR codes, free packs, etc. that will show up with tokens. We shall have to wait and see which ones show up. Whale methods include bunches of punches and packs in the car battle store that offer up to 35 tokens, 
per purchase. But the best way to get tokens for both tournament mode and for car battle are the limited time modes, which at the moment are, as you probably know already, tag team takedown. But the reason I've left it until now is because this will change. There will be other modes that will come in to replace tag team takedown. This is by far the best way to get car battle tokens and the tournament tokens. Offering one of these packs per win that has two of those tokens, it's actually pretty easy to get as many car battle tokens as you need. And I expect we'll see Survivor, TLC, and 24 7 mode in Tag Team Takedown's place across the next three to four weeks. And I have guides for each mode linked in the description and in the top right of this video. It's best to check those out individually if and when they appear. Otherwise, we'll be here for hours me explaining each mode. Ain't nobody got time for that. There's also a quest that's dropping on the 24th, which will likely include more opportunities to get tokens. Plus, SummerSlam is just around the corner and it's possible we'll get more Street Fighter cards. M. Bison, I'm looking at you. For the next rarity, as some popular characters weren't part of this set. When all is said and done, you should be able to obtain many of the rewards with little difficulty, especially having unlocked every fighter. However, Milestone 9, 10, 11, and especially 12, will take some time to complete. Waiting at the end is this limited edition Akuma, the most powerful card in the game, which just so happens to be my next goal, so wish me luck. If this has helped you even a little bit, teeny tiny bit, then please give a thumbs up on the video and comment down below with what milestone you're currently on, on your way to get yourself that limited edition Akuma. But if you want to see a huge pack opening to try and get those cosplay cards of Rey Mysterio, Xavier Woods and Selena Vega, go up the top here, which hilariously goes completely wrong. And if you want to see my most recent video, go to this just down here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, bye bye.